<sighs> Gosh, I hate doing these videos. I hate drama videos. I hate doing these kinds of videos because I like to keep my content fun. I like to keep my content lighthearted. But I, right now, I have literally no other choice in terms of if I want to potentially get this resolved. Basically, I have to do this. Now, I've tried resolving this through my connections at BBTV to contact YouTube and Apple directly to see if I can resolve this. But unfortunately, that hasn't resulted in any kind of progress. Uh, here's what happened. As anyone that watches this channel knows and watches my tech channel especially or my gaming channel, uh, I'm a huge tech fan. I love technology and I'm stoked to share that with my audience, with you guys. And as you guys know, the iPhone XS and XS Max recently launched and I wanted to live stream that experience of the launch event with my audience. I was explaining my thoughts on whether the Apple Watch 4 was a good product or the XS or XS Max and I was doing it live on the stream interacting with chat. Now because some of the audio and video matched up to Apple's event live stream, YouTube's algorithm automatically claimed and blocked the video recording on my channel. Now if YouTube detects that any of your previous live streams had been copyright claimed and blocked, your streaming rights are gone. Now, YouTube, as a general rule, does not allow restreaming copyrighted content, and I understand that, but there are a number of exceptions to this rule, and I thought I would fall in a similar exception. One example of this is streaming video games. Every single video game that you're streaming is 100% copyrighted, but it's allowed because it helps sell those products in the end. I completely understand the rule when it applies to live streaming something like a movie because the movie itself is the product. If they watch your whole stream, there's no point in buying the movie after the fact. But in the case of this Apple launch event, the live stream is not the product. The iPhones and the Apple watches are the products and the live stream is there to help sell those products in the end. And by me restreaming the product launch, I am putting Apple's marketing and PR and the whole event in front of 30,000 more iPhones than would have seen it if I had just done nothing. From Apple's perspective, their goal should be to get their promotional event in front of as many eyes as possible. So I would argue that they should not only allow me to restream their product launches, but they should also encourage other YouTubers and live streamers to do the same. Can you imagine all of the YouTubers and live streamers that would restream this event live and react to it? It would be incredible. So regardless of whether or not my restreaming of Apple's launch event falls under fair use is irrelevant. Ultimately, it's up to Apple to stop going around acting like a jealous child worried about whether or not someone is watching the product launch on their channel or on someone else's channel. It doesn't matter because ultimately it benefits you anyway. Now, when I streamed the Apple event, I streamed on three YouTube channels. I use a tool called Restream that allows me to stream across multiple platforms at the same time. Now that means I was streaming on my main channel, 3.2 million subscribers, Gizmo Slip, my tech channel with 110,000 approximate subscribers, and my gaming YouTube channel, Gizmo Slip TV. Now there's a whole other segment to this that you need to understand, and that's that I've been trying to become a live streamer. I've been really putting my heart behind it. I've been streaming almost every single day for multiple hours the last two and a half months. Now, of course, when I set out to create a live streaming community, I could have done that on my main channel and had hundreds to thousands of viewers on all the time, but I decided instead not to spam my main channel with notifications of things that people didn't sign up for. You know, when people subscribe to my main channel, they're signing up for wacky, silly tests, oftentimes involving technology. And I wanted this new live streaming channel to be about live streaming games, which is a completely different type of content. So when I decided to create a live streaming community, I decided to do that over on YouTube dot com slash gizmo slip tv which is a much smaller channel even though that channel had 40,000 something subscribers I had not posted regularly to that channel so it was essentially a dead channel meaning I was starting from scratch when I started live streaming two and a half months ago I had about five viewers on average but the great thing was my audience was growing and it was hitting about 50 viewers consistently on most of my live streams you know I invested hundreds of hours into growing a live streaming community and just to have it ripped away from me with no appeals process I don't even know what to say because it just makes me so angry right because I promoted your product and the result of me promoting your product is that 
I get banned. As far as I know, there is no inbuilt process inside of YouTube that allows me to appeal this decision. At the very least, there should be a warning system set up. Normally with YouTube, you have three community strikes, but this didn't even count as a community strike or guideline or anything. My channel still has zero copyright strikes. This is something completely different. There is no forgiveness system. There's no warnings here. And that is the core reason why I'm making this video more than anything is that the system is broken right now. If you're a YouTube live streamer and you mess up, guess what? You're done. And it's just been extremely depressing and so frustrating. If I wanted anything to change, first of all, a warning, like if you're a live streamer and you do one thing wrong, you just instantly get your live streaming rights revoked. There needs to be at least one warning in there. Number two, when there is a violation, there needs to be an appeals process or like an, a re-education. Like maybe you watch a 15 minute video guidelines on what not to do and what to do. And then after you watch, you take a quiz and suddenly your, your channel's reinstated because you're now informed better about what's allowed and what's not allowed. Now, I also want to say that when I post this video, I will be streaming over on twitch.tv slash gizmosliptv. So if you want to hang out with me and check out my live streams, that's where I'll be for now, at least until this whole thing is resolved. So yeah, subscribe, I guess, if you want any updates on what happens with all of this. And if you want to show some support, hit that like button and let me know what you think down below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Brandon out.